dear one, it's Karuna here and welcome to the channel. Today I thought we'd have a nice one-on-one, -on -one, just a nice heart-to-heart -heart chat and I'm hoping that you can go get a drink if you don't have one with you. Hot drink, cold drink and get seated in a nice comfortable position. If you need to pause the video to do that, please do so and then come on back. Today I'd like to share with you how trauma is integrated for good in the consciousness field, which is already part of you, right? So trauma, trauma, think of it like a residue. It's been a residue that was placed on you and you couldn't see well. It was like foggy, it was super foggy. So these ideas got placed upon this great field of consciousness that you are. So think of a, a blank piece of paper. The blank piece of paper is your base, is consciousness, the field of unconditional love, the great self, God, nature, whatever you want to call it. Think of it as a, the blank piece of paper and the words placed upon that paper are your storyline or the residues. But you always were and always will be and always are that piece of paper, right? The th and think of it as an infinite piece of paper. That's why sometimes you'll hear people make an analogy about an ocean. You're the infinite ocean of consciousness. Now the traumas that were placed upon us when we were young and vulnerable and getting oriented to our world and trying to figure it out here and getting the central nervous system online and getting the brain developed, these residues get embedded in us and we start to get confused and then we think the storyline, those words on the paper, is it's like us. It's not. It's just the storyline. It's just a plot. So those residues get placed on the paper. We mistaken our identity as that story. But in the process of integration and healing from trauma, the residues are polished. They come off. They come off. And you start to see your world clearly. And you recognize that your caregivers are in just as much pain as other people grandparents, great-grandparents, you start to recognize that trauma is passed on and it got to you. And because you, for whatever reason, you had a dear heart in your family, you were the empath, your heart was the one that said, I will survive, this love will not be shut down. For whatever reason, you started to question the storyline and see that, oh, there's something much greater here that I am, something much greater that's going on here. And that is a magnificent journey. The traumas, based on how deeply they are grooved on the page, like almost engraved on the page, based on how deeply they are embedded on the page, it may take more time, right, to let go of the storyline that I'm not good enough, low self-worth, whoa or let go of the storyline, I'm different, I'm the freak in the room, or let go of the storyline of that person, that abuser, I hate them so much that all your energy goes toward the abuser rather than going toward the healing. Because when we focus only on the abuser or victimization, so much energy gets caught in that storyline that we can't even see the paper. So depending on the groove, how deep the groove is, by being here on this channel, by being with people who understand, by taking actions that grow your awareness, whether it be watching this video or reading a book or going to a yoga class or getting a massage or seeing a really, really, really good therapist, all these actions collectively will help you be able to see, oh, that's the writing on the paper. 
but I am the great consciousness who I always I always have been that we are gathering in safety and ease together right here on this channel in community to say wow I'm gonna look at that story and I'm gonna observe that story I'm gonna zoom out and do the inquiry who am I am I that story or am I much more am I that unworthiness or am I more am I the freak in the room really or am I much more we zoom out like the telephoto lens we observe the story on the paper and all the time knowing that we are that infinite landscape, that infinite, the paper, the clear paper underneath. We are that. In this field, your hurts, the residues, will settle for good. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be overnight, right? And for most of us, for many of us, it doesn't happen overnight. We weave in and out. But isn't it interesting, when you've healed a little part of yourself, you can see the vulnerability in another. That's an indicator that something in you has been healed. When you see the vulnerability of another person, when you can see a certain hurt they have, you know you've healed that in yourself. When you're not triggered by a person's residue, as it were, a person's storyline, and you can see their unworthiness, or their, how they feel unworthy, in turn, oh, I remember feeling that way. So the great hope for the healing, the ultimate healing and integration of trauma, of the residue, is within the consciousness field, understanding the, your greater nature through meditation, through movement, through singing, through things you really enjoy, activities you really enjoy, through being with a pet, child, grandchild, anything, any activity that helps you touch upon your greater nature, that, that, that uh, beautiful piece of paper, the ocean, anything that helps you touch upon your greater nature and feel that reassurance, feel that trust, this is where the healing will occur. This is where the dear brain cells who have been on high alert for so long, they'll start to settle and they will regenerate and indeed detoxify and regenerate. And in the regeneration, you will utilize other parts of your brain and you'll come into your multi-dimensional, multi-sensory being. And in that expanded place, then those residues will start to settle for good. This is how the process works. And this is why your, your personal experience of consciousness, of presence, of spirit, this is why it's so important to go here time and time again to soak in that field, to touch that field, to be reminded of, yes, I made medically in train to that which I always was and always will be. We will entrain to that. And by you embracing that journey and saying yes to the singing, yes to the meditation, yes to the movement, yes to the hobby you love, even being in nature and really sensing the presence of a tree, I mean really being with a tree, is magnificent. And this is ultimately where the trauma settles for good. I want to reassure you. You're safe. We're at ease. We're doing this together. We're in community. And we're reclaiming our knowledge our wisdom within the great field of consciousness. Sending all my love and support to you, and I look forward to seeing you very soon.